Okay, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at the idea of logarithms, what logarithms are, what is logarithm, and some of the simple rules we could use to simplify and help when working with logarithms. There are some following videos that deal with solving equations using logarithms and changing the base of logarithms. But first and foremost we're going to ask ourselves what a logarithm actually is. Uh, most people find work with indices relatively straightforward but work with logarithms quite awkward. What we'll try and do to demystify this is try and make a connection between the two. The question, for example, logarithm to the base of 10 of 100. The answer to this turns out to be 2. That'll come as no surprise if you're aware that 10 squared equals 100. In asking a question about the logarithm, we're asking what index, what power we're using. Logarithm, for example, base 2 of 16. The answer turns out to be 4. 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. What index do we use to get the answer 16? Logarithm, for example, 2 base 3 of 27. If you're asking yourself 3 to the power of something equals 27, you're starting to think of logarithms in the, the correct way, and you're getting this correct if you're coming up with the answer 3, because 3 to the power of 3 is 27, therefore log of 27 base 3 is 3. What power of 5? gives the answer 125, the answer is 3. And so logarithms in this way can be seen very easily as indices. Two results that you may be familiar with. If we write those as logarithms, we see very particular results coming out. Logarithm to base 2 of 1 and logarithm to base 3 of 1 both give the same answer. The power we use to get 1 is 0. Equally, indeed any number that I care to use here is going to give the same answer and if we write that as a logarithm then we could be saying that logarithm to base 2 of 2, logarithm to base 3 of 3 or indeed logarithm to base 7 of 7 and every time we will come up with the same answer. So logarithms are about indices and if we're thinking about indices we're also thinking about logarithms and we have quite a few cases which we know the answers to straight away. Rules of logarithms. Simple rules to help us simplify logarithmic expressions. These three I've written down, these are the three that most people remember and you'll notice that I've not put a logarithm base with any of these. Logarithm of 3 plus the logarithm of 5, according to this first rule, is going to give me logarithm 15. And in terms of the base, the base is irrelevant. I can choose whatever base I like as long as I'm consistent. So I cannot mix the bases base 2, base 3, base 4, as long as I choose 1, it always works. Logarithm of 6 minus the logarithm of 3. Whatever base I'm working in will give me 6 divided by 3, 2. If I happen to be working in logarithm of base 2, for example, then the rule holds, as it does with any base. You'll notice this, logarithm of base 2 of 2, the answer there could be written more easily as 1. So we've got some simple rules to 
collect, or indeed split logarithmic expressions. Be a little careful here not to make the mistake that many people do. This is most definitely not any of these rules and logarithmic expressions written like this are not distributive. That is most definitely not equal to. Um, that is a common mistake that is one you'd be wary to avoid. Um, so these are very simple log plus log, log minus log with the brackets. We're unable to do anything with. There is no, no easy expression there, so that's a common mistake to be avoided. This third rule, very, very useful indeed, and very useful to solve equations, which we will see in a following tutorial. If we have logarithm, and again, the base, as long as we're consistent, is irrelevant. 5 squared will give us 2 logarithm, whatever base we're working in, of 5, the logarithm of 10 to the power 7 is 7 logarithm to the power 10. And whatever base we choose, that rule will work. This is a very nice way to rewrite an index expression. And we'll use this one quite a lot to solve equations. Some people do like to include in their list of rules the two special cases we saw on the previous screen, these ones here, and if we were to put those in, we would be saying that logarithm to base a of 1 is always 0, regardless, it doesn't matter what base we choose, the logarithm of 1 is always 0, and logarithm to whatever base to that same number is always going to be 1. So we could include these two special cases in our rules if we wish, but if we know what we're talking about, then we can figure these ones out quite easily. We will go on to consider solving equations and changing base of logarithms in the following video tutorials. So what is a logarithm? A logarithm is an index and simple rules of logarithms. There are three that we work with quite a lot. Avoid the mistake of the red one and we've got two special cases here which are worth remembering and spotting when needed.